so you want to make a screenshot all right one of my big things about screenshots is editing them adding arrows and text boxes and all this kind of good stuff so let me walk you through what I do to get the stupid thing to work so we start with a program to take a screenshot of I'm just gonna grab the update manager here we are and I'm gonna hit I'm gonna go back to the menu and use the menu version of the screenshot which is this little picture guy ironic they use a camera for that right now I just want to capture the previous window and it grabs this guy which is the uh, last window that I touched which is exactly what I want I want to copy the clipboard go into my editor which is LibreOffice Draw that came up very quickly and then paste it in. And there's some trick to this because because what I wanted to do really was draw graphics onto the image before I save it. So let's just say for example I want an arrow and it to point to something and I could put 55 different graphics on here but let's let's stop there just for time's sake. And there's something I always forget which is to go up to view zoom and then we want to go to much higher resolution than that so I don't want the whole picture but just let's go to 100 percent scroll up a bit and then I want to go back to the screenshot again this time there's another choice on here oh had to close the old one all right, let's try that again. Screenshot should still be up, okay. And this time I want to select the area. And then you come in and you grab. Now you notice I screwed up. Hit escape. Tap off of the arrow so the little boxes aren't showing up. Let's try that one more time. Now, highlight my area that I want, copy clipboard, and then paste it into our final product, which will be probably some kind of write document. And there's our graphic with, there's our screen capture with the graphic laid over top of it. The reason, the whole reason I'm going through this double screen capture method is because LibreOffice has a ridiculously difficult method of cropping pictures. If you're in LibreOffice Draw and you want to crop a picture and save it out as a PNG, for example, it wants to save the entire page so you get an 8.5 by 11 PNG with your drawing in the middle of it. So you end up having to crop it in uh, something like the LibreOffice Write Writer. If you, uh, and, and all of the cropping throughout the entire suite is all done the same way. You have to type in how many inches from the left, how many inches from the right, how many inches from the top, blah, blah, blah. And it's a real pain in the neck. So that's why I'm going through this, uh, what seems like extra effort of double screenshotting something into the, into the document but really it ends up saving it for the long run. Uh, if I could say something out there to the world, uh, somebody get a hold of the LibreOffice and tell them they need a free hand cropping tool in their editing suite. I'm gonna put a link in the description to a blog entry that contains some additional information about how, what it took to put this together. Uh, the information is in there somewhere, so watch the whole thing. Check out the description.